this seems like a uh, perfect map to be using the Milano on checkmate. Like I said, getting out of my comfort zone, checkmate is not one of my go-tos by any means. In fact, I'm pretty horrendous at it, but we're going to do what we can. I know this map can get a little campy at times, particularly around this plane here. So I want to make sure we keep them out of it. And of course you're camping in the back. Of course you're camping in the back. Why wouldn't you be? All right. We can't do anything about him. There was a guy on the stairs. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's get up in here. Let's see if we can hit a quick flank here. I want to get this guy out of the top. So hopefully I can sneak up here quickly, get a kill, dip out. He's not going to hear me. I get dead silence. Stop camping. Appreciate you. Should be a spawn flip since I pushed up. My team's kind of running through. I only have two. As always, when it comes to like pacing myself, dude, this guy might be the biggest camper I've played against in a long time. I mean, it's been a long time since I played against a camper, but that man is just in it. He's got the spots. I don't know if they're still here. That's a yes. He didn't see me. This guy wanted to push me. That's an artillery. That should flip him. Need to get to middle here quick. Maybe lay down, hit this. Use this as our info so we didn't completely flip. In fact, I'd be pretty confident to say they're probably over here. Yeah, I hear one. Cruise missile. They shouldn't be here now. 13 and one. They are in fact spawning on me. Almost can't see that guy in this map. This guy thinks he's slick. He's not. Fucking nade. Oh, I gotta. I gotta hit mark with my nade. Flip. I'm leaving the guy in the top. I don't want it. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan of this situation. We just saw him. Get a kill dip. Make him get make him guess. Make him find out where you're going next. I think we flipped him this time. Uh no. No, no, we didn't. Oh, we did. Now. I don't see a foot. Did he jump up? I think he might have jumped up. I think I saw a foot. Yeah, I hear one in. I heard one in that plane. Bring that ass here. All right, I need this information. I'm close to a new. They are near me. The only one I see. Okay, yeah, spawning on me. Spawning on me. Let's get back here. 24.
artillery again not spawning on me okay we're gonna take another route here I think I hear one do I yes I do crap that was my kill There's no information on the map at the moment. Without the harp, I mean, I'm following red dots at this point, using my ears, using my awareness. That's all I can do. Except I'm getting kills, Jack, bro. I'm so close to another harp. This close to a harp, it does become frightening. I'm only at 41. I might not hit the 50 mark, but a nuke would be uh, very bueno. There it is, harp. We're killing quick. Um, we got one taker here. Two takers here. Three takers here. Can I sneak in? N nuke. That guy's below me. Didn't think he was below me. He finally got me, man. You finally got me. Proud of you. Yeah, that's going to push us over the 50 mark, too. One thing I do dislike is that the nuke gives you a death in this game. It's a little odd to me. Something I hope they fix in the next iteration. I'm hoping there's a nuke in BO6, but can't be too certain. We just saw one climb. We saw two climb. Might be able to sneak in. Up. Oh, can I climb? All right, maybe one more kill. Saw him, saw him. 56 and three with the nuke. What more could I ask for here? Let me tell you, things got no requo. After playing around with attachments for many, many years on this game, the Milano is honestly one of the most reliable and you just witnessed it live in action there. First attachment is a muzzle infantry compensator. It's going to take care of your vertical recoil control. Self-explanatory attachment at the end of the day. For the barrel, the 10.5 inch Ranger, that's going to increase your bullet velocity. We have a very good damage range for an SMG at 15.24 meters, but without the Ranger barrel, it's a pretty bad one. It's at 225 meters per second. So increasing that bullet velocity to 450 meters per second will make it a very viable medium and close range weapon. Down here to an underbar, we need to take care of some horizontal recoil control with the normal foregrip there, 12% with zero cons to running it. For the handle, the airborne elastic wrap. That's what's going to give you that really fast aim down sight speed that you saw in the gameplay. And then the Raider stock is going to increase your sprint to fire speed along with aim blocking speed. So here's all your attachments on the screen. Feel free to pause right now if you need to do so. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.